everyone, and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. My name is Catherine, and today we've got an elementary level lesson for you all about getting up in the morning. That's right. Today we're making breakfast, and、uh, well, of course, many people have different things when they're making breakfast. Some of them are very big, others are small. So, but this is what we're going to talk about today. So, why don't we listen to the dialogue and see what they're having for breakfast today? Smells good. What's for breakfast? Well, since we're getting up so late, I decided to make a big breakfast. Nice brunch. Kind of. So I made scrambled and soft-boiled eggs, some French toast, and buttermilk pancakes. Wow, you really went all out. Did you make any coffee? Yeah, just the way you like it. I also put out some cereal and muesli if you feel like having something more light. Looks good. I'll squeeze us some fresh orange juice. Get the jam and butter while you are in there. Oh, and don't forget the syrup. Alrighty. All right, we're back. So a lot of interesting things. A huge breakfast. Way too big for me. <laughs> I don't like to eat a big breakfast because I feel like it's. Makes me tired, and then I don't have any energy. Especially we, if you just get up, right? Exactly. You need to shower and maybe have some <laughs> fruit, and then go to work. But we can talk about it that at the end. There were a lot of interesting words and phrases that we heard that we would benefit from taking a closer look at. Language takeaway. All right. So on language takeaway today, we're going to take a look at our first word, and it's an interesting word. It's kind of a mix of two things: brunch. That's right. So this word comes from two different words: breakfast, b br, breakfast, and lunch. That's right. Lunch. So brunch. So if you have brunch, what is exactly、uh, brunch? Well, there's two ways to look at brunch. One、mm-hmm. is the time. Element、okay. usually brunch is later than breakfast,、okay. but maybe a little earlier than lunch, so eleven o'clock or maybe even noon.、Mm-hmm. Um, but the other thing is size, because you're putting two meals together. Usually brunch is very big; you eat a lot of food. Okay, so it's a perfect combination of breakfast and lunch. I'm the type of person that likes having scrambled eggs at noon, so、uh, this is a perfect solution. Brunch, right? You don't have to only eat eggs at breakfast; you can eat them at lunch as well. Exactly. This is actually something we do a lot in America for Mother's Day.、Mm-hmm. So, mom wakes up late; we take her to brunch. It's a very big special meal. Very good. And talking about eggs and、um, and the types of eggs that we can have, I mentioned scrambled eggs, and in the dialogue, we also heard soft boiled eggs. Okay, these are two very important kinds of eggs. Usually, if you're in a restaurant, they will ask you, "How do you want your eggs cooked or、mm-hmm. done?" And、uh, my answer is always scrambled. Scrambled. This means someone mixes the eggs before they are cooked,、mm-hmm. and then when they cook, they are hard. They're yellow. Okay. There's no white. It's just yellow, and it's it's a little hard mixture. Um, but soft boiled eggs are very very different. That's right. Soft boiled eggs, you actually don't. Break the egg or open the egg to cook it, like in scrambled eggs. You actually put the entire egg in boiling water.、Uh, I think it's for two minutes,、mm-hmm. and then you take it out, and then you open the shell. And the eggs are kind of cooked. It's kind of hard in some parts, but it's also kind of、uh, liquidy in other parts. That's right. So the outside, the white part, is hard,、mm-hmm. but the yellow part, the yolk. Is is liquid.、Mm-hmm. It's not hard. That's right. And actually, if you want the whole egg to be hard, you can ask for hard boiled eggs. That's right. Those are cooked for much longer. That's right. Okay. So we have scrambled eggs, soft boiled eggs. We have French toast, and we have buttermilk pancakes. Okay. So you can ask for just pancakes.、Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you want to be specific, you want to give instructions about what kind of pancakes. You can ask for buttermilk pancakes. And what exactly is buttermilk? Buttermilk is a very, very creamy, eggy milk that's very, very high in fat. Mm-hmm. Um, that makes everything taste better. I think <laughs>、uh, this is used a lot in baking, not really in other kinds of foods. So、okay. you can have buttermilk muffins、mm-hmm. or buttermilk biscuits,、mm-hmm. but usually you have buttermilk pancakes, and so these are very rich, very fatty pancakes. Awesome! Yeah, they taste delicious. All right, so now if we want to eat a little bit more healthy, 
We do have some cereal and some muesli. Muesli is a funny word. It's not a sound we make very often in English. Muesli. Yeah.、Uh, I think it actually comes from German.、Um, yeah, it does look German because actually the spelling is M U E. So you would kind of want to say muesli, muesli, or something. <laughs> yeah. No, we say muesli, and、uh, it's basically a mixture of、uh, granola or different kinds of fiber.、Um, Grains. Grains.、Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so just think of having like raisins and maybe some almonds, granola, all mixed up, and you have this nice、uh, thing that is, goes well with yogurt, muesli. It's very, very tasty and also very good for you. Okay. And now, well, actually, going back to pancakes, no pancake is possible to eat unless you put syrup on it, right? Well, some people might disagree. I know a lot of people who eat pancakes with honey or、uh, with butter. True. true.、Uh, but the best, I think, is with syrup. And syrup is basically liquid sugar.、Mm-hmm. And you put it on your pancakes to make them sweeter. Okay. Actually,、uh, it, it, it's the same thing as honey, basically, except that it doesn't come from bees. Right. So, real syrup, we say maple syrup, comes from maple trees. And、mm-hmm. you tap the tree and it comes out. It's very, very, very sweet. But we also have.、Um, Syrup you can buy at the store, which is、Artificial. man-made. Yeah, it's basically just sugar. Okay, very good. So that's what we have with pancakes usually, but、uh, why don't we go back, listen to our dialogue again? Let's review all of these yummy breakfast treats, and we'll come back in a bit with Fluency Builder. Smells good. What's for breakfast? Well, since we're getting up so late, I decided to make a big breakfast. Nice. Brunch. Kind of. So I made scrambled and soft boiled eggs, some French toast, and buttermilk pancakes. Wow, you really went all out. Did you make any coffee? Yeah, just the way you like it. I also put out some cereal and muesli if you feel like having something more light. Looks good. I'll squeeze us some fresh orange juice. Get the jam and butter while you are in there. Oh, and don't forget the syrup. All righty. All right, so now on Fluency Builder, why don't we take a look at a couple of phrases? Fluency Builder. When、uh, the guy was kind of surprised, he said, Wow, you really went all out. Okay, so this comes from the phrase to go all out.、Mm-hmm. So he went all out, or I'm going to go all out.、Mm-hmm. Uh, and this means to give something your best, to do more than is expected. That's right. So、um, if you go all out when you're making breakfast, it means you just you cooked a lot or really good and you spend a lot of time doing it.、Mm-hmm. Or for example, if it's someone's birthday and I know it's their birthday, I go all out. By buying gifts and a cake and lots of decorations and calling all of their friends and having a party. So, this is doing everything for them. That's right. Okay. And he was really surprised and he really seemed to enjoy breakfast and he said, Looks good. Okay, this is,、uh, this is a way to say, Good job or nicely done.、Uh, it's almost a way to say, I'm happy about this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or, yeah, and obviously you can also say that the food looks delicious, so it looks good. It looks good. So it's a way to say, you know, well done, looks good, or in this case, looks very tasty. That's right. Okay. And now this is an interesting part. He says, I'll squeeze us some fresh orange juice. So let's take a look at this verb squeeze. To squeeze.、Uh, this is something you usually do with your hand、mm-hmm. when you tighten something.、Mm-hmm. So, for example, your toothpaste. Yes, you squeeze your toothpaste so the toothpaste will come out.、Mm-hmm. So, in this case, we are squeezing the orange juice to extract the juice. That's right. So, you, you hold the orange very tight, you make the juice come out, and then you have fresh squeezed orange juice. And this is different from orange juice you buy in a store. Okay, so. You can say, I'll squeeze us some fresh orange juice. That means you're going to make fresh orange juice. And this fresh orange juice that you make is called fresh squeezed orange juice. Fresh squeezed. You've probably seen this in the store, like、uh, some bottles, they say 100%. Fresh squeezed orange juice or something. Yeah, it's good for advertising. <laughs> All right, so very good. A lot of great, interesting phrases there. Why don't we listen to our dialogue one last time? Smells good. What's for breakfast? 
Well, since we're getting up so late, I decided to make a big breakfast. Nice brunch. Kind of. So I made scrambled and soft-boiled eggs, some French toast, and buttermilk pancakes. Wow, you really went all out. Did you make any coffee? Yeah, just the way you like it. I also put out some cereal and muesli if you feel like having something more light. Looks good. I'll squeeze us some fresh orange juice. Get the jam and butter while you are in there. Oh, and don't forget the syrup. All righty. All right. So, talking about brunch and breakfast, what is your typical or ideal breakfast? Oh, that's a hard question. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day,、mm -hmm. so I could eat breakfast all kinds of breakfast <laughs> anytime.、Um, but one of my favorite kinds of breakfast is a Greek diner breakfast. Greek diner. What does this have? Okay. Well, we have a lot of diners or small restaurants that are very, very cheap and fast、mm -hmm. in America. And this usually involves some scrambled eggs、mm -hmm. that are made with cheese、okay. and toast and potatoes and bacon and sausage and a coffee. Wow! Big breakfast. Very big, but delicious. Nice. What's your favorite?、Um, I also in, really really like breakfast, and I actually like having places that you can have twenty four hour a day breakfast. All day breakfast is called, so I can have breakfast for dinner. Right, that's usually in America. You go to a diner, yeah, because、exactly. they have breakfast at four o'clock in the morning <laughs> or at seven o'clock at night.、Um, I'm not really a coffee person. I I actually enjoy either juice, orange juice, or hot chocolate. I really、mm. like hot chocolate, and、uh, definitely pancakes. Three buttermilk pancakes stacked, and、uh, as、syrup. you said before, syrup. But I actually also put butter on it. So gross. I know a lot of people <laughs> who do that. They put butter on first. Yeah, and, and then they pour the, the syrup. syrup. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so it's like complete, very, very fatty, and、um, hash browns. I'm definitely a fan of hash browns. Those are potatoes that are chopped very, very finely, and you fry them together, so it almost becomes like a potato pancake. pancake yeah, exactly. <laughs> so a lot of great stuff, and obviously breakfasts around the world are different. I know, for example, in some countries they have the fisherman's breakfast. So in the morning you have black coffee, rice, and fish. That's right. Because、mm -hmm. you're gonna work all day, so、uh, we're really curious about how breakfast is in your country. What a typical breakfast is like. Yeah, what are traditional breakfasts, and what is your favorite breakfast? Let us know on our website, EnglishPod.com. We hope to see you there. All right, bye, bye. bye.